Hi everybody and welcome to today's Jungle's Musings. The topic today is based on all four of the philosophies in the jungle. Know thyself, think big, play big, silence the inner critic, and thrive on support. The topic is don't let yourself get caught up in or stopped by today's societal standards or messages. So here's your question. Are you Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, or are you Kyla from The Voice this season, who was the third runner up? I am, two of my favorite shows in the whole world are The Voice. I love watching The Voice, and I especially love watching it with girlfriends. And I absolutely adore the movie Pretty Women, Woman. I have watched it more times than I can count. And of all the movies that I have watched more than once, it is by far the most watched movie. And I admit it, I love that movie, okay? Like, I'm crazy for that movie. Just equally as much as I am crazy for The Voice. What The Voice represents to me is, uh, as a woman, being chasing my dreams, and no matter what age I am, to continue chasing my dreams, no matter what kind of conditioning I have from my past, to go for my dreams through my talent, via my talent. That's what the voice represents to me. That's one of the things the voice represents to me. Besides just great entertainment, and I have a big crush on Blake Sheldon and Adam Levine. Of course, I love Kelly Clarkson and Alicia Keys as well. Anyway, I digress. Pretty Woman, who doesn't love a good story where a woman is taken in the wings of a very handsome, debonair, rich man and saved, like Cinderella. One of the famous lines in Pretty Women, if you don't remember, is when Julia Roberts is having a conversation with her roommate and they're kind of arguing about really what's gonna happen to them. And um, so Julia Roberts is saying, no, it could never happen, I could never be like, you know, saved by this rich guy or the, the Calvary's not coming in. And the other one says, well, who do you think you are? Cinda effing Rella? And they start laughing like really loud. It is so cute. It is one of my favorite lines from that movie, of course. And so anyway, my point is, is that if you are a female and you are alive in this day and age, really nothing applies. Nothing applies. Okay, I was raised, when I was raised as a young girl, there, were, there was an unspoken message. And this, this unspoken message was that I will always be taken care of. That there will be a man who will take care of me into my elderly years. That I will have money handed to me because of the um, actual financial socioeconomic background that I was from or am from. And this is not how it's turned out for me, okay? This is not how it's turned out for me, and that is true for so many others. Um, I really want to just say that we are all of all of everything in this today's society. Like Alana Morissette said in her song, I'm a bitch, I'm a little bit of everything. And so today's message is, own where you are, where you are in life. Embrace it. Embrace where you are in your life today and go forward from there because nothing applies in societal standards. You take Kyla, for instance, from The Voice. This is a woman who is going for her dreams even though she's already been a backup singer for Jennifer Hudd. I mean, how many women make it how many people do you think actually auditioned to be Jennifer Hudson's backup singer, okay? That's huge. That is huge, 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 huge that she had that. But her dream, her ultimate dream is to be a singer herself, to be on the forefront. And this woman went for it. She's African American and she's middle aged. And of course, you know, during and throughout the voice, I was wanting her to win because, you know, these young people that win The Voice, they have plenty of time and plenty of opportunity to make it in the world. But the thing is, is that, you know, 
she didn't get chosen and now what she's got to deal with is her inner critic is she going to go ahead and take the opportunity that the voice opened up for her and keep pursuing her dream or is she gonna have her inner critic say to her see the young kids always win it's too late I should have done it years ago I'm just supposed to be a backup singer or is she gonna keep moving forward I think she'll keep moving forward but what we have to deal with today in this world in this day and age right now is that really none of the societal standards or beliefs or messages are real what's real is that you are a creative being and you can transcend all the messages that are contained in the conversation of humanity and rise above and tap into your creativity at any age at any stage no matter what and so take where you are now embrace where you are now and go for it and as usual from in the jungle Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and I'll see you next time.